are coming off of the love yourself series and we're headed into you never walk alone which seems to be like a repackaged version of wings i was gonna do wings and then got a lot of comments saying she just you never walk alone gave it a look seems to be the same thing with just like an additional a couple extra tracks so um, i'm always gonna go for the couple extra tracks um especially you know what actually that's not true i'm i'm always gonna go for the couple extra tracks when it comes to artists at this level like artists that just make me feel like i'm listening to something that belongs in a museum let's be honest about it and speaking of that i don't want to i don't want to have like a really long intro because you know my videos are super long uh so i want to i want to jump into this album right it's been a few weeks now since i've listened to like a new bts but uh that's for and that's for that's with intention that's for a reason i like to soak these albums in after i listen to them and plus they're so complex and then there's all the dual set stuff that i get to look into and learn about afterwards and uh, obviously like the patreon requests i get to do some live stuff with that and it's just so cool to get that aspect of uh, bts which i don't get on the songs like the live stuff but i have to have to have to have to comment on this rm lyricism on trivia love which when i heard there's no way i could ever in a million years like in the moment listening to the song understand that this is the deep level first of all whose brain even goes to this place as a writer forget as a listener but as a writer this man said i'm just a person but you erode all my edges and turn me into love and when you hear that line, you're already like, oh man, this is just classic BTS. Profound lyricism, very deep, very layered. But you don't quite realize just how layered it is. And I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the most complex lyric I've ever heard in my entire life. Now that I have the actual meaning of it, like the tr all the layers. And it's it's got to do with, and, and I was told by, by multiple people on Patreon and comments and um it's it's about the and obviously i don't understand the language or the writing of the language even though i've always found it very fascinating but the the word in korean and writing person and then the word love are the same except for one particular difference and that's that person has like edges on one part in the bottom it's kind of rectangular and then love is more of like an oval like a the edges are gone the the edges were eroded <laughs> by by this person which is like just like a way more beautiful and complex way of saying this person broke him down in the best way like broke down his barriers and and made him accepting of love i don't anticipate ever coming across something at that level and and it's almost painful because it like it sets the bar it makes listening to other music almost an unfortunate experience <laughs> because you're not going to get that anywhere else so it's almost like you go into listening to other music you're like yeah you know i, I have to change my mindset listening to this other stuff because i'm not going to get what i've gotten with bts just what a mindset change this whole experience is has been for me okay guys i want to listen to this album this is you never walk alone full uncut version on patreon link is in the description if you are watching this on patreon actually i do want to very specifically shout all of you out for the massive support um that you've given me it means the world to me i don't take it for granted that you guys are um always so loving and informative in the comments and um i read every single one and i take every single one very much to heart so please know that so just thank you for being you and thank you for giving army a great name ultimately being a great representation of a fan base it's more important than anything else so thank you so as i've got some of these loaded up here the lyric videos anyway which these are like the only ones i could find by the way um uh just as far as like a series of lyric videos go anyway uh, i'm realizing that there's a lot of solo member songs here and i don't think i could have asked for like in a row and I don't think I could have asked for a more ideal uh, assortment of songs to start this off with just as far as like 
really, really giving me full dosage of each beautiful member's um, very specific talents. So, yes, 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 over and over again. Okay, this is the intro, Boy Meets Evil. Come on, we just started. <laughs> we just started, J Hope. What? Oh, do what you got. The middle of your beat. Chicky on his side. Long ain't a good make you. The Yamang and Toki. Mel Karagara G. But Tamar Subom, the Yoshi Mikara Mujaja. I go with the stuff. Wow. Ah, oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. All right. Ah. Uh. It gets dulled by my irresistible greed. Ir irresistible greed. Not just greed. See, this. This is the difference right here. I've listened to so much BTS at this point where I can very much point out very specific things that set them apart from other artists. And I love that I have an example thrown right into my face to start this off right away. It's so easy to just say, uh, first of all, this line, to, just the start of the line already. Okay. My determined ambition, I saw I sharpened my sword every day. Got a G. Already great way to start. Just sharpened my sword of, of the sword was my ambition. But it gets dulled by my irresistible greed. It's so easy to just say it gets dulled by my greed. And you already get the point. It gets dulled by my greed. The sword gets dulled because I'm greedy. So, like, I only, if you're greedy, there's only so far your ambition's gonna go. You, like, you're gonna get in the way of your own self if your intentions aren't correct. It, like, 10 times out of 10, usually, because there's some pretty fucked up, uh, very rich people in this world, actually. So, so let me not say 10 times out of 10. Uh, but you guys get what I'm getting at. You gotta have the right intentions. It's so important when it comes to ambition. But he doesn't, he doesn't just say greed. He says his irresistible greed. So he's almost saying like he couldn't help it. Like he, it, it, he literally could not help but have greed sort of involved in his ambition. Um, and, you know, I stop to say all of that because I really, really just want to get the point across. So anyone listening to this right now, I assume you're a BTS fan. I assume you're an ARMY I assume you listen to all their music and you have a full understanding of why they're as great as they are. Um, but say you're watching this review uh, because you're not... Um, a, a lot, some people that watch me watch uh, for the first time. They watch like... They'll listen to an album or an artist for the first time. And I want you to understand and, and hopefully take from this that things like this, like added uh, descriptive words that are thrown in there that most artists wouldn't even think of um, they just really extend the meaning of, of everything, and that's the difference right there. Okay, uh, let me try and gather myself, because we have a long video ahead of us. Oh my god, this is so good. I love how he's having a conversation with his greed. With the evil. Like, boy meets evil. The evil, the greed, whatever you want to call it. That's what he's talking about this whole song. And I love that. And I'm uh, frustrated that this is only two minutes. Because this, this could have easily been an entire four-minute song just about that juxtaposition of man versus greed and i just love the conversation well he actually says boy because it seems as if he's grown out of that it's i mean i would assume so he very much has to have based on the stuff i've heard previously and what i've learned to know about these boys i'm going to try and usually when i do B bts reactions i get so lost in the meaning of every song and how things connect and and weave throughout these albums that I always forget to give you guys my favorite tracks at the end of all of this. Every time I forget, every single time, uh, I think I'm pretty sure. And I always do favorite tracks at the end with other artists. So I want to do. I want to make sure I do that here and give you guys my favorites at the end. Try and give you guys like my top. You know, usually I try and do do no more than six, but with BTS, we'll see. 
All right. Next track is Blood, Sweat, and Tears with everybody. I really love that melody. It's so weird to hear Sugar rap with like such a relaxed flow at this point. <laughs> I like the how they touch on each part of it, like the blood, the sweat, and the tears, and how they sort of broke it down by each one, and like even like the taste and metaphors for those tastes for each one. <laughs> I love that. Of course, it's jumping. There's sugar. That's the sugar I know. I drink the poisonous ho holy grail. Again, poisonous holy grail. Two words. Two. Uh, like an explanation for an actual object in the Holy Grail that is supposed to be this this great grand you drink it and, and it's supposed to be um, uh, this thing that gives you uh, there's multiple meanings for what it could be and I think of uh, great Justin Timberlake and Jay Z song drinking to my cup runneth over Holy Grail something like that but either way the point was that you want to reach the Holy Grail but you drink but it's poisonous though so you actually get there and you die and they're addicted to it and that's the blood sweat and tears that they're referring to oh. oh my god Jimin. wait was that Jimin? Wait, is that Jimin doing that note, or is that Jungkook and Jimin backing him up? It's Jungkook. It's Jungkook. It's Jungkook. Of course, it's oh my god, this beautiful boy. So there's a couple lines in there that I really liked, particularly that Holy Grail line, and I also really liked the specific reference to the flavors right here: peaches and cream, sweeter than sweet is RM, right? Yeah, sweeter than sweet, chocolate cheeks, chocolate wings. I love that line, and then I also love that cup runneth the the Holy Grail line, poisonous ho poisonous Holy Grail, and I love this melody right here i love that melody i love that a lot of them got i love that jimin got to do the melody i love that jungkook got to do the melody um I, and i believe v does the melody later on in the song okay let's go to the next one this is begin oh and it's jungkook Oh. oh, story, a story. Oh my God, don't do this to me. So the stage is set. Right. He sounds so good on this song. Wait. You make me big.
Okay, first, oh my goodness, I love the sound of this song. This song is, um, this song has everything I love in a song, um, from the production to the vocals to the runs to the soulful sort of delivery on all the vocals, uh, and the, to the to the setting the scene to start it out. So it starts out and you feel like you're watching this 15 year old sort of feel like he's overwhelmed by this world and like it doesn't even know how like has can't even process his own emotions doesn't understand himself yet and you know feels kind of empty and then i love this whole like met my brothers and they and he's talking about the boys and um when he says and they gave him emotions and pretty much taught him how to love and that's so beautiful and i'm so glad that i've listened to all the albums that i've listened to already uh from these boys particularly b uh, as far as like their relationship and the inner dynamics of their relationship, but everything like they touch on it in a lot of their music, obviously. But that album, I think, too, specifically when it comes to that. Um, but for him to say, You make me begin, I can't help but think that that's like it's the beginning of my life. Like it feels like I'm really just beginning my life because I've now d- learned, like, discovered these emotions within myself and learned to love and just like i feel like you've made me begin and that is such a beautiful and and simple you can be you can say something simple like that in a chorus when you have set it up so beautifully with lyrics beforehand uh and he did that in this verse and i i love this song uh so far we're already almost halfway done so i know it's gonna be one of my favorites yeah Man, those synths are nice. This is a great beat, too. It just moves well. Sean Cook. Who? Oh, it, it means, uh, oh, it means, oh, no. This means older brother. Why didn't they... You know, I actually love that that's not translated for me. I love that that just is written there for me so I can have some suspense in finding out because that... Hyung means older brother and is only used by males when referring to an older male while... In this case, refers to a group of two or more people that share the same attributes. Okay, so... He's got most of... He's one of the younger members of the group is what I'm guessing... Actually, let me check that. Jungkook is the youngest member of BTS. Okay, this is no. Jungkook is the youngest member. Of course. So yeah, when 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 the other members of BTS, his older brothers, because he's the youngest, are in pain, it hurts him more than when he's in pain. Like, when he's in pain, it doesn't hurt anywhere as much as close to when they're in pain. Because that's how much he loves them all. And that's how much he's learned to love. And it and it makes even more sense, being him being the youngest one, to talk about how they taught him so much about life and how to love. And because um, when I say it makes more sense, it's because, of course, like, they were all older. They were wiser. They had been through more in life. They... Of course they all taught him things. Of course he learned from them. That's like regular brother relationships. This is particularly uh, meaningful to me because I'm I'm one of seven. And I'm the oldest of seven. And I don't want to get emotional. But I have... I'm, I have... There's five boys. And I'm... I have four younger brothers, two younger sisters. So I know how important... Uh, something like this is a, a message like this is a um, real experiences like this is I know how important it is to be an older brother to be a young uh, and w- how impactful that is on on you know these your other brothers that you love so much and, and my sisters too I love love my sisters they might be watching this so um, let me move on before this is a very emotional song <laughs> Oh, 
fan as one. I'm still learning it. Because you make me again. Again? That is one of my favorite BTS songs ever, um, but it's also particularly it hits very close to home for me, like I mentioned, and I just think it's I it that's be it's beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful song, it's a beautiful message, and uh, I love that it's just a he's saying you the whole song he's saying you you make me begin you make me again because i'm like reborn through all my pain that i might go through like you make me again because once again i'm still here and i feel like it is literally because of you my older brothers <sighs> okay i need a second i literally have to text all my brothers and tell them i love them first and foremost <laughs> And tell them that we all might be getting new tattoos. <laughs> we all might be getting begin tattooed on us. Okay, uh, this next song is Lie. It's Jimin. Oh my god, it's Violet. I feel like I'm in a... What a start. I feel like I'm in a movie. Oh, this is captivating. Oh my god, is, what is the, that vocal? That right there? This is I don't want to I I'm going to be honest cuz I just want to listen to the song. I don't want to stop it even though I just did. But this is this is, musically, musically speaking and like when I say musically, that includes the vocals as well. Where the vocals are placed and what the what uh, the that that ooh hoo, hoo, like that big vote that not big but like it's the from the strings to the pianos to the vocals to this this cinematic feeling i feel like this is in like i'm in like a suspenseful film um and and jimin has just dropped this masterpiece musical score into the film and this is one of not just like one of my favorite bts moments but it's musically one of the best BTS songs I've heard. It's the best song on this album so far. Musically speaking, from a, from an arrangement standpoint, this is absolutely something you hear in a suspenseful, big blockbuster film. And my goodness, am I here for this. Like... Is that my favorite part? 
don't even know. No, I, this this song, this song is a full length song. This song could actually be like seven minutes, which lends itself more to that feeling of it being a score, like part of a big film, or or just part of a film, part of like an award winning film. That's what I mean by big film, not so much like blockbuster film. I'm talking like award winning film, like the film that wins all the awards at the Oscars, including the film that. Um, wins the award for best soundtrack, best score, uh, because this is this is unlike any BTS song I've ever heard, musically speaking. The first three songs have like so much house music product production and mixed into it, and they have other they have other elements as well for sure. Um, but this song is totally in a different category musically than the first three songs. Um, and it's not even like any song I've heard on the previous albums I've listened to. Uh, and it's just, it's such a standout for me that I couldn't even, I did, I didn't even really, I wasn't even really even able to lock in on the lyricism of all of it because I was truly just overwhelmed with everything else that was going from Jimin's vocals and the caught in the lie to the woos and the piano that would come in and the stop and start elements of the song um and the strings uh and yeah i'm gonna i don't know how i'm gonna make a top six favorites i mean this is probably not gonna happen on this album it's gonna be more than that because we're already i already have three okay uh v v stigma <laughs> That, that um like pieces of broken glass that I can't reverse is such a beautiful visual uh, tragic visual when you think about how if you drop a cup and it breaks and it kind of shatters and you sort of picture the slow motion of it as it shatters and in your mind you're like oh if only I could reverse that but you you can't and that's the pain of it like it, the pain of thinking how bad you wish you could change something and like literally envision changing it, but you can't because it's just, it's physically, it's literally impossible to undo like a shattered glass. What a visual, wow. I mean, we all can envision the slow motion glass breaking and reversing that and it being put back together and know at the same time that it's actually impossible. And that's painful, if anything. <laughs> Delicate and fragile, which calls back to the glass line. I think my favorite thing about BTS. And that last line reflects it. This whole song reflects it, and it's ref they were it's certainly reflected in so much of so much of their music. You talk about the "Love Yourself" series and how that starts off. My goodness, um, my favorite part about BTS is the relationship between the boys first and foremost, and how that relationship translates into the fan base. But my second favorite part uh, about BTS is how they are so accountable about their own faults about the things that they need to work on about like the things that literally separate them from perfection uh and and obviously like 
you know my my like my second favorite part about bts is also the lyricism but i think that's part of that that's a category of that as well in me is me saying like them just being able to very very articulately too like it's not like they're just putting like it's like i could say right now i could sit here and tell you guys um my god there's so many things wrong with me and that i can point out as well uh and we're all just working on ourselves right one thing that i certainly need to work on well <laughs> let me not be so deep right now i'm always late to everything let's keep it simple so i can just say i'm always late to everything and leave it at that and that's cut and dry and you guys will hear that and you'll understand that and that's black and white but BTS is able to say things like that like they can they'll say i'm always late but they it's not just I'm always late. It's I'm always running behind and this affects you in this way and 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 it affects our it, it affected us in this way and and X Y and Z and they've got like multiple layers to how they describe their faults. And that's what makes it extra accountable cuz it's easy to say it's easy to point out your fault, but it's a lot harder to point out how it affects others and and like the result that 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 can take on your, you know, relationships or whatever it's an impacting in your personal situation. Um, so I just have so much admiration for BTS and their lyricism first and foremost, obviously. Um, but you know, it, it's a, it's deeper than that for me. It's, it's things like that. How they just, they're so accountable in their own music and they're so self-aware. They're just so self-aware. They know the things that are, um, that they need to, that they've, either still need to work on that they've worked on at some point or that they are still working on um in their own minds and souls and i just i can't get enough of these guys And that, you know, I just pointed that out, how, like, they like, they want to take full accountability. Because, like, embracing accountability is the only way you're going to get better at the things that you actually address about yourself. And that line is perfect in that regards, because please let me be punished. You know, please let... And uh, the previous line, I think, said something about um, this blood is running down. Uh, where did he say that, actually? Let's Let's find that. Please illuminate my sins, which is pointing out where I can't turn back. The red blood is flowing down uh, like like the wound is already there. The damage is already done. I've already inflicted this pain, this pain on my brother, on my sister uh, and on these relationships I have in my life with these people I love so much. I've already made the mistake. I've done what I've done. Like I need to face the consequences. I like I don't want to turn back. The red blood is already there. It's too late. Uh, and that's the, again that refers to that shattered glass thing. It's too you can't reverse that. But then like let me be punished. Let me deal with the blood that is running down. But also please forgive me uh, because I do want to deal with the consequences. But I also need that tear to dry uh, because like we need to solve this in the healthiest way possible. And I think stigma literally approaches that as best you can approach that. Who guys, what an album so far. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. It's be, I'm going backwards. And oftentimes you always anticipate when you go backwards, things to get a bit less complex or just a bit less profound, just less, not less deep. Like I don't even, even that's not right, but just uh lower in quality. You know, because you're, they're still the same person at the at the surface. They still have these deep tendencies. So I'm always going to anticipate that. But I'm just, I guess I would anticipate things to make less sense, lower quality lyricism, um, you know, music, uh, a bit lower quality. Not that it's still not going to be good, but people get better at things in life. That's just how it works, right? That's how it's supposed to work anyway. Uh, so uh, yeah, I go into this. I'm like, no, it's not going to be like things aren't going to be quite at the same level as. Um, the Love Yourself series, 
or map of the soul or be like it's just there's no way because they're they're getting younger and younger as we go but no that's not the case and that is unbelievable to me first love sugar oh boy just Nikki, okay, cool salt. i'm not gonna get a break jari japan garsek piano set on one side or the chuk chi banen cool salt han kyan e jari japan garsek piano Good Kotorob Uri gang ma chim pyeol chik chik man jeol de ne ge mu ya ne ha ji ma ha ji otteon hyeong tae do do nal da shi man na ge deul go ya ge de ba ga ge da shi ma jeol ju ma ju ge ge ya ke ga ma ge go sotteon ba ga ge da shi ma jeol ju no matter what form greet me happily then oh my god music music you accepted me without you, I am nothing. What a powerful what a powerful song uh wow okay wow what a powerful song i interpret this as sugar's i mean first love and it's a message it's a song to music music will always be there for him and there at the end there even when he pushed it away music still was there for him no matter what and i love man the Sugar has this way of being so poetic yet so passionate and there's often an aggression within his passion but you never that aggression never never overpowers that passion where I'm more where I'm more lost in his aggression more so than the passion if that makes sense because there's rappers out there who will rap really aggressively and you're almost more focused on the fact that they're rapping very aggressively and less so less so feeling a passion it just more so feels like i'm i'm gonna rap 
and sound mad or passionate or emotional or whatever word you want to use because it, it's going to sound good, you know, or it's going to get this message across more maybe. Um, where with Sugar, it just feels like it's all coming straight out of his soul. Uh, and I, I don't know if there's any better way for me to put that. That's just how I interpret him every time I hear him, whether it's the August D solo stuff or him doing stuff as part of the group. But this line, there's a line in here. Because, yeah, I neglected you, and then it turns into top of the white jade like keyboard dust is piling on specific references and then him talking about growing uh, like when it all started he was shorter than the piano and then as he grew he became taller than the piano there's a book called the giving tree i believe that's the book where it's a child who visits a tree and the, the tree is uh smaller and then the child grows up with the tree and the tree grows older and older and you know grows bigger than the child ultimately and um you know their relationship is for life and i believe that's the book if i'm not mistaken and um th then that's what i think when i think of the song this relationship with something that starts very young and it's never going anywhere it's like a bond for life and that's what the music is and i thought this was a beautiful way of um illustrating his relationship with music and how it started and the, what they've been through and what how it's never going anywhere and there's a line in here that really got me even the way you listen to the way he he rapped this whole song and it's very story it starts off very storyteller you know he's reading you his uh, a, a book that he wrote and he's telling you a story of um his relationship with this piano that essentially represents music and then it turns in that passion really starts to get stronger and stronger as he grows to love this more and more and as they grow to experience things more and more as he f starts to push it away because he's going through things but it's still there for him and as it's there for him through all his ups and downs as he grows up as a as an adult as he says himself as he grows taller than the piano yeah, everything about this is, is good to get your kid children. and then just the way he talks about growing taller than it i mean i i th this feels like a book it feels like a book. You can illustrate a book based on this three minute and eleven second song, like a like multi page book. All right, I I don't want to move on. These videos go so long, and now I know why. And I want to say too, I love the the individual. That it's not just individual songs from each member. It's individual stories from each member. It's John Cook talking about. Uh, how he how much he loves his brothers right it's v be, uh, begging for forgiveness it's sugar talking about his how he um uh, or not just begging for forgiveness but also accepting accountability while, while asking for that forgiveness like the perfect balance of how that works and it's sugar <laughs> sorry it's sugar uh telling us the story of how he, how he grew up to to love music and how it's always been there for him like it's specific stories from each member of really significant things almost the things that mean the most to them when you think about it like jungkook seems to reflect that um the his brothers have meant the most to him and it seems to reflect from sugar that, that song the music has always meant the most to him it seems to reflect from v that um you know, the relationships mean the most to him and relationships with, you know, anybody, friends, brothers and sisters and loved ones and how he can repair those the right way. Um, and now I'm almost scared of like what reflection is going to be. I know every life's a movie. We got different stars and stories. We got different nights and mornings. Our scenarios ain't just boring. Not an eon park and normal chance. RM RM speaks the most English, right? I, I actually ended up watching an interview they did because I just I'm I'm, I'm a full on BTS fan at this point, guys. Like I, I'd like to consider myself an army, um, if I'm accepted. <laughs> and uh I've watched a couple interviews now, and it seems that RM takes the lead in those interviews 
Um, and I would imagine it's based on like the interviews that I've watched have been like English speaking interviews anyway. So in those interviews, he seems to take the lead. So I'm assuming he speaks the most English. I think V speaks decent English too, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> When I really hate myself, I go to, what is that? T-T-U-K. It's an island that is in the Han River. It travels through Seoul. It used to be, a, I could be saying that wrong, by the way. I apologize if I am. It used to be a temporary island that only becomes an island when the river floods, but now is more of a permanent island. This is going to be, I always go to dual set. And, you know, I've considered recording some of me visiting dual set. I probably will at some point, honestly. It would just have to be a separate video, guys, because these videos always go so long. Uh, and if I included me on dual set in these videos, no exaggeration, it'd be like an additional two hours at least. I spend more time on dual set than I do on the song just because it involves reading and then actually going back to the song and being like, oh, yeah, that meant that. But okay, it's, so that's just an important place to him. Like he it seems like it's an island. I assume that he just likes to go there and like reflect. Uh, when I really hit myself, I go to this place that is a place, like an actual physical place. He just stands there with the familiar darkness. <laughs> Who, what, the love and hate directed to me. I love that the song is called Reflection and that he hasn't even re referenced that. If I'm not mistaken, he referenced like my life is like a movie where it makes you think of everything you see as a reflection. Um, so it made me think of that particularly. But otherwise, he's just talking about how he views himself and the things he goes through. But this line here, like as the song, because he talks about going to this island almost as if he goes there because people are happy over there and it's almost like he needs to be around that when he's really feeling down um yet even when he's there there's still people in twos and threes like he still feels alone so it's almost like he can't avoid that feeling um even though he does feel both the joy and the anxiety like he pointed out it's an up and down and it's every single day the love and the hate that's the up and down the hate directed to him i can't imagine i told you guys that i have watched interviews a couple two interviews i watched actually um, so I've, an arm spoke the most. Also, I'll confess, I absolutely have this dream where I'd like to make a reality where I get to sit down with BTS and have a conversation with them, an interview with them, um, and just talk about the music and lyricism, well, just how their minds work. I imagine the RM would be very heavily a part of, uh, that dialogue. Uh, and from what I've gathered from RM and in the interviews is he's, he's so wise beyond his years. It feels like. He's such a bright light as well. He seems like the kind of person, you know, I don't know if I can call him a leader or not because I don't know enough about this group from a live dynamic, from a, you know, most of what I've done is listen to these recorded tracks. RM feels like a leader. I feel He feels like someone you can go to. He feels like just this bright light of sunshine, honestly. And uh, for for me to feel imagine him getting any hate in any way is kind of unfathomable. Um, and scary because if someone who is that just pure a human or comes off that pure a human uh is getting hate thrown at them then we're we're all just screwed because there's no hope for, for this world and it's, it's more love in society if rm's gonna get any hate <laughs> I like this musical breakdown too. I love the relatability of their music, guys. It doesn't get much more relatable for someone that like deals with some a lot of very similar feelings uh, than a song like this. Just speaking from my own personal experience. Um, and yeah. Just, I love the direction this album's going so far. Okay, uh, Jay Hope, we are back with Mama. Oh, wow. 
전화로 내는 엄마의 목소리는 선명하고 기억난 그 그때 엄마의 향이 남이 내게 변화고 Hey mama 이제 내게 기대 더 You can smile, you can relax. What I mentioned before about how not only do I love each member's getting their own song, and that we're getting so much of that on this album, but each member is in those songs, again, talking about incre an incredibly personal thing to all of them. And I already referenced the other ones, uh, uh, or most of the other ones. And now J Hope here is, again, right along those lines, talking about how his mom funded his dream. She had to work overseas just to, because it turned into debt. Everything turned into debt. She had to work overseas. They were distanced, and, and just the stress of debt is so significant. Now it's, hey, you can lean on me. You can smile. You can relax. I'll take care of you, mama. And I love that so much, by the way. I love, I love, love, love that kind of story and hearing about that kind of stuff. That is one of my favorite things uh, family it's all about family guys i love that the instrumental too is very upbeat very happy uh and and lend it lends itself to work well with that feeling of hey mama like it's all right now like it's all good we're not gonna look back at this in a sad way like we have all the reason to be happy right now and it's all thanks to you i'm sorry mama I love that. I love that. Where she was? Passion and devotion. His mom was uh, had passion and devotion to those two jobs that she had that he pointed out, and without that passion and devotion that she had, that she was genuine about. And forthright about he wouldn't be as passionate and devoted to music as he would be so like it's funny how that works i love that this is a song that you can dance to because you you should because this is a song about celebration you're celebrating this person uh and it, that's it should be like it could have easily been made into a really sad song because you're thanking your mother and you're like reflecting on damn why am i just realizing that you are the reason for everything you are this like i am i hold you up wider than the sky like beautiful uh, a vision by the way uh, but i love that it's more of on the dancey positive vibe because you want to celebrate her you want to you like you want your mom to listen to this song and dance to it every time she listens to it because hey like we have nothing but to celebrate now because now i can pay you back for everything as much as i can anyway i'm sure the first time she heard it though she cried her eyes out <laughs> but after that you just gotta dance okay let's go to awake jin maybe i Wow, I'm just walking and walking among this darkness, uh, which is so much more impactful after he just sang so beautifully, by the way. Jin's voice, I don't think I talk about Jin's voice enough. I want Jin, Jin and Jimin, particularly, I think I want to point out because I think I talk, I definitely have referenced V's specifically soulful and unique voice and how i think he particularly really stands out to me vocally and especially when i hear them as a whole and 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 some harmonies um and obviously jung hook i've spent so much time talking about because he's my he's my fave <laughs> uh but i think jin and jimin are so just special vocally and i want to point that out more and more as time goes on but yeah just saying his heart out in that chorus and talking about how he can't fly he can't touch like he can't touch the sky he just he's those lyrics are that much more impactful when i first hear those lyrics it's like this is sad but also these are not the most these are not the most uh unique lyrics uh, but he sounds beautiful, so okay, I'm here for this. But then when you get into I'm just walking and walking among the darkness, then it's like, ah, oh, man, now those lyrics are just perfect previously about I can't fly because now you've just added more to that that really just 
uh, push the point home that um, you're really just stuck on the ground in what is you uh, darkness like you can't escape that I can't fly like the flower petals over there I can't fly like the flower petals and flower petals sort of fly in the wind and when you look at them sort of wisping throughout the wind over over like a rosy garden or something they're just it's just a beautiful sight you're like all oh, those flower petals are just like the most free flowing things that you could possibly imagine i wish i could be that but i can't be that because i'm grounded in this darkness <laughs> My happy times are I hold the six flowers tightly in my hands. Before we talked about the petals floating through like how they how he wished he could be them, but he can't. He holds the six flowers tightly. That's gotta be the that's gotta be his brothers, right? That's gotta be the the rest of the group because there's seven of them. And he says he holds six. There's there's literally no other nothing else that that I could imagine that that could be. So not only does he hold his six brothers close, he holds his six brothers tightly in his hands. No, for one, he refers to them as flowers. It doesn't, I mean, that's just beautiful in itself. And number two, he already referenced like the beauty, like the beauty and the freedom of what, what petals are like floating around. Like he was referring to them as petals. Like it kind of happened twice when you really think about it. I hold the six flowers tightly in my hands. That is gorgeous. I love, I just love, love, love how these boys are constantly uh, singing and writing for each other. <laughs> The voice. The strings. The added strings, the added violins to these, to some of the tracks, uh, again, on these songs here lately are just. Again, everything, 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 guys. I want I want to keep track of what my favorite songs are, so I just gotta go back really quick and make sure that I am doing that. Uh, next track, Lost. Lost is the next track. Uh, really quick too, by the way, about this song too. I hear the Wings reference. I know that there, this album was Wings and then it was repackaged with a couple extra songs called you never walk alone and i'm glad he said wing the reference wings near a couple times because it made me think of that and i love that you never walk alone i think it fits perfectly so much of these songs because uh, there's so much on this album of um referencing their love for one another and how they're always there for each other and just that general feeling and sentiment so i, I just love that you never walk alone title i want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor of this video the ridge now the two most important things can't go anywhere without your phone your wallet it took me so long to find a wallet that i actually love and i've finally got that in the ridge wallet this one is forged ember it's made completely out of carbon fiber they've also got wallets made out of burnt titanium there's so many styles and colors to choose from it's so sleek feels so nice in my hands it's got a strap that is in the back that is part of the design that holds cash uh, it also gives you the option they send you a money clip with it uh, if you prefer to use a clip i like the strap because it's just kind of elegant to pull that out and honestly pulling this whole wallet out um wherever i am i just find excuses to pull it out because it's just so damn cool it can hold up to 12 cards i've got six in here and it's still super super sleek this thing is just so awesome i can't say that enough uh, and you get a lifetime warranty literally meant to last forever bridge.com use the promo code beveragi i know you know the name get 15 percent off and get the best wallet you'll ever own in your whole entire life i promise mm -hmm. 
손을 감고 아직 여기 서 있어 사막과 바다 가운데 길을 잃고서 여전히 헤매고 those desert and oceans make a return those desert and oceans well i guess this this would be the uh i guess this would be where they started well i can't even say that because i have albums i haven't heard yet from the prior to this but um glad to hear them in other songs cool. oh wow I still believe in those unbelievable Man, okay, I want to talk musically. That is such a good choice because I'm so happy. They could have easily just done a drop and left space, you know, just incorporated uh, a house instrumental that would... Uh, take up a few seconds after the drop after once you say lost because this builds up and typically you just get a drop some space a, a beat um and then you have a hit quote unquote it's building up it's building up and right there you'd have a drop you'd have space and you have like nothing afterwards that i would usually find interesting it's the main reason i don't really like songs that do big drops like that and that use a lot of house music to build up to a drop that builds into like a bunch of beats um that doesn't really do much else for you but i love that this does that and then dives right back into a bunch more lyricism <laughs> Love them all doing their own part. Yeah. And that could all go, that could, that again could very easily be them relying on each other. Cause like they're saying, lost my, one of them says, lost my way. Another one says, found my way. Another one says, lost my way. Another one says, found my way. And that could easily be tied into each other. Like I lost my way. And then with you, I found my way and so on and so forth. And they can could just like say that to each other back and forth. And it would work perfectly because of all the songs that have led up to this. And then obviously everything we know about them. Yeah. I love it. First of all, I love the ant line because when you picture an ant, like... Ant, when ants walk, they kind of like have this staggered sort of like, and particularly when ants are because ants carry up things and like then they're really staggering. But even without that, like they don't have this very straight lined walk, so they're constantly crashing, crawling forward to find something they, like roaming for days. And that's they're comparing themselves to that ant in that way. And also, I can't not think of Ant Pan Man, right? When I think of that, I love the connection once again, album to album. <laughs> Jungkook is the smoothest singer ever. It's just he's so smooth. Look at that run. I like this song a That's Jimin back there doing that high note, right? Yeah. 
what oh, what a that's definitely a pop song by the way and that's definitely a perfect pop song by the way you incorporate everything instrumentally you incorporate great lyricism and then you talk about a song that like flows perfectly doesn't do that beat drop that i just don't like thankfully i'm so glad they didn't do that i'm so glad they didn't do that and they 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 have too much to say they have too much lyricism to get off their chest um you know those beat drops often are incorporated in songs that are just meant to be dance songs because you don't have much lyricism to fit into there no shade at the artists that do <laughs> do music like that. And a lot of people love that kind of music. Okay, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love that they know how to use the the group's vocals. It's just as far as obviously like Jungkook and Jimin had some big vocals at the end there. Those those crazy high notes. Um, Jungkook is so smooth, and Jimin probably has the biggest, like the highest range. He can jump into the highest octave. I feel like um, I've certainly noticed anyway so far through these albums that I've gone through. Um, and I just love the, it's not just lost my way. And then they, they don't just keep that. Like they change the tempo throughout the song way, way, and then just going to found my way and lost my, it's just a really clever song. One of my favorite ones on the whole album so far, guys. Okay. We have a cypher. A cypher is, I, I love cyphers. I listen to a bunch of cyphers. Um, but BTS cypher is going to be a special treat though. Part four. Oh my God. This is going to be. This is gonna be dangerous. We're gonna get an August D appearance, aren't we? Sorry, <laughs> 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 boring. Okay, all right. So yeah, this is oh BTS is back at their oh they don't the hate that you throw at them for whatever reason if it's uh if it's sorry. Um, they're not pronounced they're not pronunciating something correctly, saying a name correctly, their diction isn't correct. Oh, look at your face, you're not an idol. That, uh, that's I like that reference by the way. I'm sorry it's sarcastic. I really don't give a fuck. The sound I'm making right now is all dog noise to someone. To someone like this is just a bunch of nonsense. And I know he's about to spaz. <laughs> your bashing pattern is starting to get boring. The things that you're saying to dismiss my skills and talent is, is boring. Come up with something uh, more original. They got me looking stuff up in this reaction. Hold up. Salmonari. Samulnari. It's a genre of percussion music that originated in Korea. The word Samul means four objects, while Nori means play. It's performed with four traditional Korean musical instruments. I'll be the drum, just hit me hard, let's just try it. Okay, so, alright, alright, he's referencing a specific genre of music here, or like yeah it's a genre of music but he it's it incorporates four instruments and he's one of those instruments in here that's right Little do you know, like with all those hate comments, you're just feeding the algorithm and helping BTS that much more and l helping them to reach the ears that actually appreciate them, which is, by the way, way more people than the haters. So all you haters actually lose ultimately because little do you know that their stuff is actually incredible and they're, 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 they're where they are for a reason. And you're where you are for a reason. You're sitting there hating and you're doing that from your phone for a reason I wanna be jump time Trick to the most fun spotlight True Oh you wanna be more like You can't though pronouncing I love my room that bro the got the new 
Uh, I love that he referenced bros because pretty much that's what he was referencing. We talked about coming on the stage and taking the hits that they take. They do. They take it together. <laughs> For the rest of your life, continue screaming from that position. Literally, that's what J-Hope, I got you, my, my, my brother, I got you. Literally, I just said that before you ever started. They're, they're just screaming from the position of their phone being a hater. They're hating on you because they can't do what you do. Uh, and and he just said it himself. Uh, dream come true. Come on, dream come what true. is this? Yeah, Honor yeah. and wealth. Isn't that you? Everyone shoe on my foot. Soul after all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rely on all of you, wonderful army. If you don't mind on this one, and I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, I know that there's something there. <laughs> I don't know what he said. I don't need to know what he said because, oh my goodness, that flow, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god his flow sugar is such a monster this guy is so just top of the food chain at what he does he's as good a rapper as i've heard my goodness he just brings a different level um, than like other rappers i listen that i've heard in my whole life wow this one this verse is a lot this verse is a lot back to the basic microphone check call me a crow tit or <laughs> what's a crow tit Yes, in this rap game, I'm the generous one to rehabilitate the rap men who begin to slack. I'm the, like, I'm the generous one. Uh, I'm so like, I'm so much above all the other rappers that I rehabilitate. Sort of, uh, if people are slacking. They see my lyricism. They see my lyricism. They look up to that. They're like, oh man, I gotta do better. Look at this sugar guy. Look at this August D guy. He's so good that I gotta write better. That's kind of how I take that. And that's when you're like as good as what you are that's just how it is that works in every profession like the greatest soccer player the greatest basketball player the greatest singer the greatest uh, author of books the greatest writer of movies director of films you always look at them and you, you look at your own work compared to them and you're like oh look what they're doing i gotta do better he's saying he's that person and that, that makes him generous he's generous to be as good as he is because you looking at him like his music is just out there he's generous because you can just access it and then decide to be better since you're slacking because you can never be as good as him holy fuck is my first plan hashtag suck a better running gang gang and insta gang gang and insta so like you're just like talking a bunch of smack on instagram gang gang you're just like ganging up on me you're th you're, you're being aggressive all the shit that you're talking about us and me and whatever it is that that whatever nonsense you're talking is on insta it's just like that's the best you can do you know i just look i look at that i look at all that and meanwhile that's your life up in my instagram talking a bunch of shit my life is day by day, payday, paycheck, Rolex on my wrist. Go ahead, sugar flex on it. This guy is special. Uh -oh, 
so is let me not he's talked about that before that's such a for like he's i i've said this before i love when bts comes at people i love when they do that i love when they do that and and why is it my fault your life is non-committal keep on living like that vaguely again coming at those gang gang instagram commenters uh, or dmers whoever's sending them a bunch of nonsense i'm pretty sure they actually have their comments off which is the right choice on their end by the way uh so i'm sure they get i'm he's talking about like dms that they're constantly getting just like hey you suck or stuff like that i'm sure it's in the thousands and thousands and meanwhile like like your life is non-committal live keep on living like that vaguely let's go listen to diss records rap diss records no one uses words like that except sugar all right i am a little bit short of breath after that one uh just what a <laughs> i love how each verse was so different uh i love how they just I love how they embraced the hate in that song and flipped the hate into just general diss back at the haters and just how they're so like, you know, whatever. You feel how you feel because we know we know what we are. We know what we did to get here. Okay. Uh, oh my God, I love that. Okay, this is Am I Wrong? Selfish lives in our hearts. Okay, I think they're just using multiple animal references. We're all dogs, pigs. Become dogs because we're angry. Okay, become pigs. That's the second time I've seen crow tit. What does that mean? Crow tit is just a, it's a bird. Someone who is trying too hard to fit in by becoming something they aren't. That makes so much more sense from, uh, from having heard it previously now. Oh, wow, okay. You know, I'm normal. Yeah. yeah, I agree with I like that line. Like, how can you be unaffected by unaffected by the craziness going on in the world? Like, if you're just unaffected, something's wrong with you. Oh, Sean Cook. Oh my god, he did that like five times, Jimmy. He did that seven times and then into like a run at the end of it. Dude, what? Damn. Jimin's got so much control over his high fall setup. So I like the message. Am I wrong? It feels like like am I wrong for feeling like the world's going crazy? Like all this there's so much terrible shit happening. Am I wrong for feeling that way? Because it seems wrong that people are unaffected by all this. I love Jean Cook's vocals on this, or so there's like a that a, there's an extra amount of aggression that he put in there um, that I'm not accustomed to hearing from him from the stuff I've heard so far. Anyway, uh, obviously that Jim and High Note special, I don't love this song. Uh, w maybe it'll grow me. This felt this reminded me of a Jason Derulo song, and I have a tough time swallowing jason derulo songs i'm <laughs> being honest i don't know what the, what's this vocal from is this like a sample this Am I wrong? like where does that come from and it's not yeah I, I just it's not my favorite song that's all uh let's go on to 21st century girl Interesting, these songs are back to back and they have like almost the same. Am I Wrong has more of like a filtered muffle clap, but if you took the filter off, it might be the same exact uh, clap and, and beat here. You worth it, you perfect, deserve it, just work it. No like Is it worth it? Let me work it. That, it reminds me of that song right away. Put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. Let's 
I'm torn on this song. I love when this chorus comes in. And so that's about half the song that I really like. The other parts of the song, I'm torn on. <laughs> that sugar scream. Uh, but as soon as this comes in right here, I'm all in. And vocal by Jin. This is what I referenced before about uh, the drop that I was hoping wouldn't happen. Oh, there's like a whole... Oh, the beat just got fuller and they added a whole other synth and all of a sudden I like it a, a lot more, but it's only in the last few seconds of the song. I'm mixed on this song. Uh, let's go to two, three. The flower trails, the flower trails, and we've spoken about those petals floating and, and, you know, the, yes, yes. You, you, you already know what I'm gonna say. I love the songs that are about this. I love the songs that are meant for each other. Especially because, you know, you come from that cypher where they're talking about, even before the cypher, where there's so many songs about each other, but so much that, uh, so much lyricism that involves, like, they wouldn't be here without each other. They're so important for each other. Like, um, uh, one of them can't fly without the other ones. One of them is the younger one. They're all like one of them learned to love because of the other ones. Um, and now this uh, talk about the cipher and how they have had so many people against them. And in this song here, like one, two, three, as long as you believe and as long as we can believe in each other and what we feel about each other, the way we feel about each other, kind of just count one two three we can make that all go away as long as we have each other and i just i love that oh, come on becoming the flower and the most beautiful moment of my life i love that they call each other flowers guys it's the most beautiful how is there more just articulately beautiful way to describe uh, someone you love particularly like a brother to you <laughs> Mm. 
I just love when Jimin does those backing vocals. As my camera so rudely disconnected itself at the end of, towards the end of that song, uh, two, three, which I very much enjoyed, by the way, one of my favorites on the album so far. Uh, I'm glad I caught that because, oh my goodness, um, I, it's it's easy for me not to catch that, not to notice. Um, and, and I would have easily just kept going and that would have been tragic because I would have never redone it. I don't, I won't redo the reaction. Okay, so uh, one, something that hit me, 2-3 has a similar start to one of my favorite R&B songs. Listen to 2-3. I love that piano, electric guitar, melody, harmony, uh, and then it reminds me of this. And that's just piano, and that's that's a good loving a song by Miguel, one of my favorite artists. Um, but yeah, they just reminded me of each other, and I enjoyed that. Uh, Miguel's a great singer, actually, and Miguel, I think, and Jungkook would make a great song together. Uh, but that's besides the point. Now, next up, we have a little surprise. You guys are going to see it here in a second. I'm not even going to say much. I'm just going to kind of jump into it. I'll say one quick thing. There's a couple of reasons why I don't do music videos. Guys, uh, as far as like, especially when I do the albums, it's very difficult for me to, I, I have attention deficit disorder. It's very hard for me to multi task just as far as like, if I watch a music video, I almost have almost no shot at fully taking in the song the way I like to take the song in any way. Like I'll still understand it to a degree, but it's not the same. It's very difficult for me, but we're going to watch a music video because you guys are just the best. And I have, I've barely seen any BTS music videos. So we're going to correct that now. And we're going to do the music video for spring day. It's snowing, but it's a spring day. Oh. Wait, hold on. You see, this is why I, I already can't. I can't focus on both. <laughs> what is that kid going straight to his face? There's so much happening here, by the way. So, throwing a cake. We're throwing popcorn, I think that is. We're throwing. I don't know what that is. Is that a beer or something? And some kind of liquid? There's like silly string. There's a bat. Like <laughs> so much. There's so much happening. That was about to hit his face. Oh, I like that shot. My heart. Did missing someone so much that you'll you would literally like be the the dust particles of snowflakes just to get to them little by little. Wait, weren't they in a weren't they in a laundromat and permission to dance? Oh. I love how particularly beautiful this line right here is sung. And this is probably my favorite shot of this whole video, by the way. This is gorgeous. Okay, what is this? 
Are those clothes? Are those like all their clothes made into a mountain with like are those clouds or like an ocean behind it? I don't even what am I looking at right now? Are those oh my they're like in the clothes, you wouldn't even know. But there's like snowflakes though, also. Oh and now I see now I see them. Well, that's this that's a crazy shot and just the the idea alone I don't know if the clothes and the shoes are both supposed to mean something but what I'll say is that the shot is that's that pile mountain of clothes and all the minute just like visually and artistically that was just really impressive uh and visually a beautiful music video i love that i got to see all their beautiful faces got one more surprise <laughs> this is not today it's another music video i know i know i know i hope this is okay with you guys wait what There was like half a second of the eyeball and the people were running in the eyeball. Not today. No, not today. Someday flowers will fall, not today. Where are the flowers? Someday we'll fall, but not today, because we'll keep fighting. I love the constant flower reference. Compare themselves. Today, Wait, what just happened? I, I, I forget the lyrics for a second. The what was? Did someone just spin backwards into the shot? This is like a back, he did like a backwards spin into the shot. S comes in backwards and then lands directly in the middle of the shot. Pro tips. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the legwork in the choreography. Oh, look at the legs. This is J-Hope, right? I think the first person rapping was Sugar, the second one was RM, and now, and the first verse, and then they had the chorus, and now we have J-Hope here.
Yeah, this court this is I am I am lost in the choreography of everything. I'm so happy I wa- watched this video, particularly for this song, because this I feel like if I just I'm actually, especially this song, because the lyricism in this song, easier for me to pick up on while I watch the video, because, I mean, it feels, they're just talking against everyone trying to tear them down, and and a lot of the haters as well, it feels like, and I'm, uh, is everyone dressed in black supposed to be the people that are, like, the people that try to tear them down, the people that hate on them for no good reason, um, because the way that the court, like, they're, like, they're running from those people. And then there was this really cool part where all those people got past them. But then they sort of, like, survived it. And then aim, shoot, fired at them. And then they all fell down. Uh, and then they went into a choreography where each member was in front of a line of the people dressed in black. And then they would, like, it went from that sort of pyramid to, the, the, oh, what an impressive, what an impressive music video. And... And I also love how different this one is from Spring Day. They're two totally different. And both of them also work in the elements, too, because they're dancing on, like, ice the whole time. And in Spring Day, obviously, it's pretty much a song about elements and elemental change. So I love how there's a connection there as well, but while they're two totally different songs. And I'm so... This is... The the choreography, guys, the dancing... The dancing is mind-blowing. And the leg movements... Uh, I'm glad I watched this. I'm really, really glad I watched this. Okay, let's uh, get back into some music. <laughs> let's do... Uh, we only have a couple songs left, guys. We have two songs left. Okay, all right. Uh, somehow, someway, let's let's finish this up here. This is Wings. Uh, outro Wings. <laughs> I knew these small feathers would become wings. I knew the wings would make me fly. When earlier on, we couldn't even... That he was holding his six other members' flowers tight. Um, close to him, but he was the one that felt like he couldn't fly away like petals. And, and, and here we have here, like... A re- uh, afterwards, later on in the album, I knew these wings would make me fly. I'm breaking up with regretting with age. Oh my god, that is a line. I'm breaking up with regretting with age. As I've gotten older, I've constantly had regrets and regrets. And now I'm at the point in my life where I'm breaking up with with 
regretting with become with being a regretful person with having regrets as i've gotten older and i'm breaking up with that because now i'm just gonna fly and let go of all of that break em, break em. Not unconditional trust and that's because of each other it's because of each other they have unconditional trust and they've trust has been a theme on this album trust within each other his last track on the album a supplementary story you never walk alone Your hand becomes my wing. This wing. This wing sprouted from pain, but it's a wing going towards life, which is again guided by you. It's guided by, it's like all of you are the ones that guide this. <laughs> And they, I like that they always, they're always aware that this road could get more difficult, more arduous, which is a great word. I love that they actually are using that word in this song, by the way. Uh, but they understand that the road can get tougher and it is going to get tougher. But as long as they have each other, once again, consistent theme on this album, it's going to be all right. <laughs> If you and I can be together, okay. Um, this is it's funny because I said outro wings was like the way to end the album. Uh, and I'm curious to hear how You Never Walk Alone is going to work. But You Never Walk Alone is the perfect way to end the album, right? Just, just, it's so crazy because that, like, laugh line is so simple, yet it's so profound when you really think about it. Because sometimes you're in such a dark place, you're so depressed, you feel so attacked, you feel so torn apart, that you can't even laugh. And something as simple as a laugh is one of the most healing, freeing, open feelings you could possibly feel to have these people with you these hand these guides these hands that guide you and make you feel like you have wings make you feel like you can fly your brothers your older brothers these other these love the, the loves of your life they're your family now they make you feel like you can laugh and something as simple as that is a profound thing because it, it frees you from that feeling of feeling down and feeling beaten um, to your very core so uh, to me that line alone is so important um, and this album I really enjoyed because it's so cohesive just as far as the togetherness and how important they are to one another I love these boys I love the music they make I love the lyricism um, they've yet to miss on a project for me just another incredibly cohesive project about being there for one another and about how each member 
just is so how each of them are so important to one another and like truly getting to the deep core meaning of why they're all so important to one another i loved the individual songs from each member sort of and talking about why they're so important to one another in very different ways and even like getting to sugar's part of the album which is like a real shining moment on this album for me of him talking about that piano and why music is like literally his life and you put that song in the middle of an album where you're all talking about your love for one another and it still just makes so much sense like that song belongs in this album uh so i just i i and there's a lot of like uh i like i like that there's slower songs and then there's also your classic uh, mix of BTS sort of dance songs on this album. I love that I got to watch a couple of music videos and get to peep the choreography and the cinematography uh, of this incredible group. And yeah, guys, I just I can't wait to get through this discography and check out the solo uh, projects by these guys too. And when it's all said and done, kind of step back and look back at everything we've checked out and compare it to one another because a lot of these albums are so different. They're so like cohesive in their own right where they all have this one overall meaning but yet there's still a connection between each and every album and i really enjoy that about these guys all right i'm gonna give you guys to close out my top i, I promised myself i wouldn't go past nine because i usually don't go past six but I, because this album is longer i'll give you half of it my favorite nine tracks on this album in no particular order nine okay intro boy meets evil begin lie first love lost bts cypher four two three spring day and a supplementary story you never walk alone those are my favorite nine tracks on the album uh please let me know what your favorite uh, tracks are guys um please help me out with a couple of questions i have or i had if you would uh, i love you guys thank you for being so damn supportive um army is just the best most passionate fan base um i could have ever come across and i'm so grateful that you guys have chosen to spend time with me during these albums it means a lot to me it's something i'll always be grateful for so thanks guys